Welcome everyone. Ethereum's next network upgrade has been agreed upon and developers are not stopping there. They are already looking past that network upgrade into the future. Let's discuss. Ethereum's Constantinople hard fork date has been agreed upon by developers. The hard fork will happen at block 7,080,000. Cool or in regular speak, roughly mid-January. The hard fork will bring five different Ethereum improvement proposals to life. Among these proposals are the dropping of the block reward from three down to two and delaying the difficulty bomb. Also discussed at that same meeting where the hard fork date was decided upon was making Ethereum ASIC resistant. This is to combat the big mining guilds and make Ethereum friendly for home miners. Now this may be a silly point considering that Ethereum is moving to a proof of stake model in the near future anyway. But it has to be noted that there was actually no agreement on implementing this idea and that may not happen before we move to a proof of stake model. Now, all of this news comes only days after announcements regarding Ethereum 1X. This is essentially composed of a wide range of different proposals that could be activated as soon as June 2019. Some of these proposals include charging a fee to users who store smart contract data on chain or even storing the smart contract data off chain and even to archive old information stored on the Ethereum blockchain. All of this to make it, a bit, of course, a bit more lightweight and many of the ideas being discussed in really how to improve the transaction throughput of Ethereum. Also of interest is the EWASM, a new virtual machine focused on processing smart contract code and which will allow for the easy deployment of common smart contracts, which will be optimized to run on the Ethereum virtual machine. Basically, lots of little enhancements happening to the Ethereum network. And while incremental steps, these should actually all be a significant boost when combined together to the blockchain. But these are all just stepping stones on the path to Ethereum 2.0, which will not be happening until 2020 at the earliest. We have seen delayed deadlines before. Ethereum 2.0, of course, essentially being the Ethereum of promise, the Ethereum that will save us all from the darkness and restore balance to the universe. <laughs> okay, now this is the Ethereum that will, of course, be that proof of stake Ethereum, the Ethereum that will implement sharding and will sport a fully updated Ethereum virtual machine, allowing Ethereum to scale for the coming flood of dApps that are planned for the network. We can add into all of the above mentioned that the coming of ZK Snarks, so actually the utilization of ZK Snarks for things like transaction batching will also help to scale Ethereum. Currently, there are eight different teams working on building the future of Ethereum. And they had better get busy because the competition to be the king of the blockchain platforms is strong. And there are many who are ready to take the mantle from Ethereum. A sign of the times is that the Ethereum development studio consensus has had to lay off 13% of its employees. Now, this is a far cry from Steam's 70%, but is still a sign of the times. Although consensus does remain a very strong force in the Ethereum ecosystem and has done a huge amount for the overall development of the Ethereum economy. A staff reduction is nowhere near as dramatic as it might seem to some outside observers, so that's to be noted. But Ethereum does need really strong voices right now because people like Justin Sun continue to be the siren voice to lure projects away from Ethereum and over to Tron. And of course, Tron is not the only blockchain in town outside of Ethereum. The competitors are many and the competition is very hungry. The real issue at hand here is for a pack of killer dApps to arise on Ethereum. Currently, the most used Ethereum dApp is IDEX. 
and the biggest utility for Ethereum has been launching ICOs. But that current reality doesn't do justice to what is being built. And there are a whole host of projects which are building awesome use cases for Ethereum. Well, for blockchain, but on Ethereum. They just need the users, and Ethereum needs to scale so that they stay. Oh, and in case you hadn't noticed, the price of Ethereum <laughs> has been absolutely devastated recently. Oh my gosh. But on that point of Ethereum's price, Ethereum has basically followed the wider crypto market into the dark void of despair. The question will be whether Ethereum manages to build real value and moves beyond just being an ICO engine with a couple of dApps that only have a few users to being something that really hits institutional grade adoption and allows massive communities to interact with each other using blockchain technology. I know the Vitalik and team are working very hard on making this a reality, but they get better get busy because a lot of others are already out there working on making that happen. Anyway, those are just my two Satoshis on what is happening with Ethereum right now and some updates for you. I would love to know your opinion on any of this news or the future of Ethereum down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, Pop a thumbs up on it. If you're new around here, hit subscribe to stay up to date with what is happening in crypto. There's also a notification bell down below, which you can click on to know when I drop a new video. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.